Good morning and welcome to the weekend prior to back to school. So it is officially the Friday before school starts. Our schools open on Monday and I thought that I would take you guys along throughout the weekend and kind of prepare for back to school. I definitely am feeling a little bit uneasy going into the school year. Ronan is starting first grade and he is starting at a new school and I think most parents are probably still feeling a bit uneasy. I'm hopeful. I'm optimistic, but I'm also trying to be realistic about the school year ahead of us. So with that being said, this weekend, I'm gonna get everything prepared. I have pretty much 99% of his school supplies. However, we did have Meet the Teacher yesterday. So we got a few extra things that we found out we needed to get for her classroom in particular. Additionally, I have a full list of things that I need to get done on my end. I need to get him some new shoes. I need to organize his clothes. I need to make his first day of school sign, both him and Sawyer. Sawyer's clothes are organized and she has new shoes, but Ronan needs new shoes. I I need to spray both of their shoes and then I will insert some footage here of doing a little bit of healthy baking. So for those of you that are new here, I am Jessica and I'm a holistic nutritionist and a nutritional practitioner. So healthy food is very important to me and to my family. So I will insert some footage here of us making some healthy baked goods for breakfasts and our lunch boxes for the upcoming week. gonna get started today with my absolute favorite oatmeal zucchini breakfast cookies and these are wonderful of course as a breakfast option and additionally they are incredible as a lunchbox staple I probably will most likely be using these for both in the upcoming week so I've gone ahead and I've just finally shredded my zucchini you could also put this through the blender if that's what you would prefer i'm mixing together all of my dry ingredients and then we will go ahead and start to mix in all of the wet ingredients as well for the recipe details that i'm sharing with you guys today feel free to check out the description box down below so you can get all of the details take a peek at the ingredients and recreate this one at home If you're nervous that your kids may detect the green from the zucchini, you can absolutely blend your banana, coconut oil, egg, and zucchini in a blender, and it will completely assimilate that color. Also, as you saw in the beginning of the clip, I did finally blend the pumpkin seeds because Sawyer is not a huge fan when they are full. If I chop them or mash them, they don't bother her at all, but if they are full, pieces of pumpkin seed. She's not a huge fan. So I just kind of made it into a pumpkin seed flour or pulp and I mixed that in with the dry ingredients. And now my helpers are adding some chocolate chips, of course, which are a necessity. It feels like such a big treat to have these cookies. Little do they know that they're packed with nutrition and also they keep some full for an extremely long time. For the recipes I'm sharing with you guys today, 
I highly recommend that you double the recipe and freeze half. It's such a time saver. And to be honest with you, it just really makes it worth getting all of the ingredients out and all of the blenders and mixers and food processors. That way you're set for quite a while and they do freeze beautifully. I pull them out in the morning. I either throw them in the toaster oven or into the convection oven on high for a few minutes and then they're great and ready to go into their lunchbox. Now we're putting together some coconut flour, carrot, apple, muffins, and donuts. I've shared an iteration of this on my channel before, but I had used some applesauce. We didn't use as many seeds, and we're just mixing some of the ingredients up a little bit. So again, be sure to check out that description box down below for all of the recipe details. But these ones are great. They definitely remind me of fall, the smell, the taste, everything, and my children are very excited for fall. Their favorite season is fall and Halloween. So they were excited when I said we we're making some fall donuts. And you don't have to have the donut maker. You'll see here, I make them in both muffin and donut form. So you can make them however you want. This also is a great option as a waffle or pancake batter. I would just recommend leaving out the sweetener if your kids are used to having maple syrup on their pancakes or waffles because I do use sweetener in this. So when I make this as a pancake or waffle batter, I just leave the sweetener out of the mixture because my kids are used to having syrup on their pancakes and waffles. So you'll see here, I'm doing half of a batch of these as muffins and the rest is donuts. And I will say, I'm pretty sure we made 24 donuts and there was only about 10 that made it through the weekend, but that's okay because we definitely have enough of the muffins to hold us over throughout the week. Okay, so the produce fridge is coming together. We have our washed peaches, our cucumbers back there, our washed citrus fruit, a little bit of already chopped up citrus fruit, our apples and ginger, parsley. All of these greens, of course, are already washed and ready to go for me. These cucumbers are washed and I had already washed out the bag and this zucchini squash mix from Costco. So that's clean as well. Good morning guys welcome to a new day and actually as i say good morning it's already 12 o'clock so it's not that early in the morning 
but today I'm going to be tackling the kids' closets. However, I will say that I don't have a ton to do in their closets because when we moved, and if you watched my moving video, if not, I will link that one for you here. I did go through the kids' clothes and pretty much pare down and weave through a lot of the stuff that didn't fit them anymore. But now we're at the end of summer and some of the summer stuff that's gotten like tattered and stained, I do wanna go ahead and go through and donate and also get all of their back to school clothes organized. Sawyer will be wearing uniforms, as you can see behind me. So there's not too much organizing and going through, but I am gonna pull out the stuff that doesn't really fit her anymore going into the fall. And I will take those to the school and give them as donations for other little girls that are coming in that could potentially wear the clothes that are too small on her now. Then I'm gonna be going into Ronan's room and going through and taking a look at like the nicer clothes that he can wear to school this is the first year that he doesn't have to wear a uniform to school, which is so crazy to me. I miss the uniforms. I know I'm gonna to continue to miss the uniforms because it was so stress-free and so easy to get him dressed in the morning. But I'm gonna go through and pull out, because it is nice and warm still here in Michigan, I'm gonna go ahead and pull out the nice summer clothes that still fit him, and then I'm gonna to start to make note of the things that he will need for the fall. I didn't buy any. Literally, I was gonna say much. No, I didn't buy any back to school clothes for either of them because Sawyer has an abundance of uniforms here. And Ronan, to be honest with you, still has some really nice summer stuff. So I will take a list of what he may need for when it starts to cool down and there's cool mornings, any sweaters or hoodies or zip ups that I could order from Target or H&M or Zara or J. Crew Kids. That tends to be the places that we get the kids clothes from. So I will go through and take a peek at his closet and we'll get things organized. And I also might plan out their first like week of school. Yeah, I probably will. I'm gonna plan out their first week of school, all of the outfits, and put those in a drawer by day. I'll have everything ready to go, so it'll be no stress and no fuss and no mess in the mornings. Okay, now onto Ronan's closet. It's not quite as organized as Sawyer's because he picks out his own clothes and he grabs his own clothes and kind of throws things everywhere and I try my best to come in and tidy things up but we're gonna pop in here really quick and get things kind of tidied up pull out anything that might be a little too tattered from the summertime and then pull together like the first I realized it's four days this upcoming week because they're off on Friday for the holiday so pull out the first four days of clothes get them in a pile that way I know like each morning what to grab and have him get dressed in um, and that way he doesn't have to rummage through every single drawer that he has in his closet. Okay, so here's a good example. Kaya bought these shirts from J. Crew, and he bought the four or five and the same one in the six seven. So the four or five does still fit him, but it's like a little bit short. So I'm gonna put this one in the front of the closet so that he wears this one more before he outgrows it. Here's another four or five, but as you can see, it's very well loved. So this would be a good one, probably for donation. There's only a small hole in it, but I actually might keep this just for us when we're hanging out around the house, but not for school. So I'll move it to a different part so that we don't accidentally grab this on a school morning.
It is officially the night before school and I am sharpening all of Ronan's pencils, putting the school supplies into his backpack and getting everything ready for the morning. I didn't pack their lunch boxes the night before. I let them pick out their favorite snacks and I even let them pick out the type of sandwiches they want. Just because it was such a big day full of transitions, I wanted them to feel comfortable and have food that they also felt very comfortable with. So while it might not be the perfect lunch or the lunch that I would ideally like to pick out for them. It did come home empty, but I do have their water bottles set out, their backpacks fully packed, ready to go for the morning time. All I need to do is throw their lunch boxes in and fill their water bottles up with ice and water, and we'll be ready to go out the door. For those of you that are new here every year, I do set up a first day from back to school party. It is just a really simple party where I reuse and save many of the decorations year in and year out and involve some pencils, calculators, coloring books, coloring paper and balloons. We make some pizza, we have ice cream. It is very simple and low key but my children love it and look forward to it every single year. So I just display some balloons, their first day signs, and just a few little things that are reminiscent of, of course, the first day back to school. It truly is one of my favorite things and traditions that we do. And on this table is a beautiful bouquet of flowers from my sweet friends, Tiffany and Chris Beeston that they had sent over. So that was the perfect touch to decorate our table prior to the kids getting home. I want to thank you all so much for watching and if you liked this video you can let me know by giving it a big thumbs up and now the subscribe button is right over here on the screen give that a click that way you don't miss a single video and i hope to see you back here next thursday